Symmetry is just generally pretty awesome, but it also is a huge time saver. And we've got a tool called Mirror, which will really save you a lot of time and make for more robust designs with less work. Um, and we have the option to mirror individual sketches, but we can also mirror individual surfaces or bodies and stuff like that. So you can choose whether you want to mirror your product or your design uh, in the sketch stage, or if once you've actually turned it into a 3D solid, if you'd like to mirror it there. And I generally recommend mirroring as a solid, but there's definitely sometimes you might want to do it in the sketch mode. So let me show you how it works. First things first though, I want to make sure I have a line or a line that I'm going to be mirroring across. So I'm going to use a reference line and go right to the origin and just drag a line straight up and down. It doesn't matter how long it is. Okay, now here's our friend the mirror command right here. And before we get into that though, I wanna create a few things to mirror. So I'm gonna grab myself a rectangle, throw it on there. How about a circle? Let's throw a circle right over here. How about a line? And that's a, that's a good start, right? So let's, let's mirror those over. So just click on the mirror command. It's pretty straightforward. And I'm gonna choose the mirror axis first. So I'm gonna choose this line as my mirror axis, right? And then my figures to mirror, I wanna say, hey, how about that line? And notice what happens is, as soon as I select it here, it gets takes over here, it mirrors it across that line, and you have an exact mirror copy over here. Um, how about these lines here that make up the, the uh, square? That works as well. Um, somehow that got taken away, so let's bring that back. And how about the line? Select the line. And notice that I can choose multiple items at the same time if I wanted to, or just select individual lines, your choice. When you're happy, click OK, and now you've got a mirror. Now this is interactive, right? So if I grab a circle, it's gonna I can move it around, right? It's always mirrored. So no matter what happens, it's gonna mirror it across that line. And same thing with the line, right? I can that's gonna be mirrored around, and the same thing with the shape of the rectangle gets mirrored around. Now, we don't have to stop there though. Let's get a little bit more exciting. Let's go ahead and create another line. This time I'm gonna put a line down here and I'm just going to uh, just, it's not gonna be constrained at all. I'm just gonna have this line sitting down here and I can be able to move it around if I needed to. And let's go ahead and mirror things again. So grab the mirror command and this time my axis or my mirror axis here is gonna be that line and my figures to mirror. I'm gonna say, hey, about that circle there and the one I already mirrored. Um, how about these individual lines? And notice I'm just adding them one by one and they're mirroring across that line. Uh, you can, of course, you know, select them all at one time. Um, that line and that line. So now I've mirrored everything at the top, which has already been, so this is the original. Then we have, these are the mirrored uh, items over here. And then I'm mirroring all those things down here again. Click OK and now you can see it. Now if I move one of those, right, everybody moves, right? Because they're mirroring across those lines. And you can get as wild with the mirroring as you'd like. And obviously it makes it a little more complicated in your sketch, but there might be reasons you only want to draw the right-hand side. And once you've done a lot of work on the right-hand side of something, you grab a line, you mirror it over, and you've saved yourself all that work. And you're guaranteed that everything on the left is the same as it started on the right. So that, that's definitely one of those, uh, you know, design uh, type of things that you're going to do that's going to save you time, but it's also going to keep you from making errors. Uh, and that is actually the most important thing around. So anyways, that's the mirror command. It's very helpful and it will save you a lot of time.